There is proof in this report that the DA's office purposely destroyed an entire box of evidence that could have exonerated Richard Glossop. There's no DNA evidence. There's no forensic evidence. There's no eyewitness testimony. There's no confession. If we put Richard Glossop to death, I will fight in this state to abolish the death penalty simply because the process is not pure. In this particular case, there is not only deep question, but grave concern that there was manipulation in the entire process. It is my opinion that this entire case against Richard Glossop was manipulated by the detective in charge and that Richard Glossop has now been behind bars because of the gross misconduct of the DA's office and the investigation. Cliff Everhart, a key witness for the prosecution, was under investigation by the OSBI for lying in other court cases and eventually went to jail for the same. There is proof in this investigation that an unknown individual left the hotel and left his clothes in the room while he went across the street to the Sinclair station asking where the bus station was. He happened to be at the Sinclair gas station and the Sinclair gas station tapes by chance happened to disappear even though they were put into evidence. A box containing 10 items, duct tape, shower curtain, financial records was destroyed. That's inexcusable. The videotape that Representative McDougal mentioned on the night of the murder has disappeared. Compelling evidence that should have been evaluated, should have been provided to the defense counsel, has disappeared. There's no DNA evidence. There's no forensic evidence. There's no eyewitness testimony. There's no confession. And in fact, we actually know who the murderer is. And yet somebody's on death row that's not the murderer. If a defense attorney had done what the DA's office in this case did by destroying evidence, charges would have been brought against the defense for obstructing justice. We don't seek convictions, we seek justice.